This is Hanita Aliu, and she's living her dream of sharing her culture through food. Nestled in a quiet corner of a shopping center off Fulton Avenue in Arden Arcade, you will find her restaurant. And it's called Abyssinia, it means Ethiopia. Hanita Aliu, the owner of Abyssinia Ethiopian Restaurant, works alongside her husband and her mother, Nigatwa Waldesik. Nigatwa runs the kitchen and prepares traditional Ethiopian cuisine. That includes the freshly made inhara bread eaten with every meal. I grew up eating the food and cooking it with my mom, so I was like, oh, why not open up a restaurant? That wasn't always the plan. Her initial goal was to open a daycare after studying child and adolescent development at Sacramento State. When the original owner of the restaurant decided to retire, Aliou stepped in. Ethiopian traditions not only influence the food, but how it's served as well. With the food, everybody eats together, so it's like family style. So you don't have your own plate. So when, when it's served, it will be like on a big plate and then everybody will sit around and share. So we have like for older people, like for the younger people. So you just dig in. So you just go in there, just get some of the meat. Okay. Mikmita and spiced butter. To stay authentic, Abyssinia only uses spices and coffee imported from Ethiopia. This is what we use for most of like our spicy dishes. The spice is just as colorful as the varieties of foods served at the restaurant. The most popular food here is like the Grand Sampler. It's a different variety of veggies and meat dishes. There is some spice to it. There's mild dishes. There are some vegetarian dishes. This Black History Month, she's taking pride in her culture and her country. She says it means a great deal to have a month representing the black community. Because I will show like different cultures and then different like restaurants, let's say, different places that are black owned that you can go and see or shop or eat at. So it's important because you don't get to see that throughout the year a lot. And although it may have been nerve wracking in the beginning to start a business, Aliou says taking the risk has paid off. Before this, I used to think like people wouldn't enjoy our food, but come like starting this and seeing people like enjoying it and then they come in and they're like, oh, we love this food. And it's like, it's so satisfying because they're like sharing what I'm feeling. Coffee, which originated in Ethiopia, also plays a big role in Aliou's culture. Abyssinia offers a traditional coffee ceremony in which a host will first roast the coffee beans by hand. Incense is burned as the coffee brews. And then a younger person will pour the coffee, starting with the eldest and then everyone sitting in a circle socializing. Aliou says it's a different scene than what most people picture when they think of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a beautiful country, um, never been colonized. So we kept our tradition, our food. It's like it's the same food that been cooked for years. This is called Shirowet. In honor of Black History Month, she invites people to step out of their comfort zone and keep an open mind when it comes to trying new foods. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I want them like to leave happy because it's a wonderful food. Like I have a lot of customers, they come in for first time and they enjoy it because it's very flavorful. So when the customer leave, I would love them to be like, oh, I remember that place. Like it's the best food, you know, the best culture.